Despite his constant declaration that he is such a nice guy, Camo Dave promotes bad behavior. What's up live viewers, how's everybody doing today? That's right, despite his constant declaration of being a nice guy, that never get angry, happy-go-lucky, carefree, jovial, jolly news reporter or critic or nomad review channel or weather channel or whatever the hell he's doing at this time, at this day. Anyway, he is promoting some bad behavior. Now, if you think about way back when this pandemic first started, he now refers to it as Panda Land or Panda Acres. But back then, that's right, he will deny it and deny and deny, but he did refer to it as COVID Acres. Yeah, he called it COVID Acres all the time. And he did, I wouldn't say encouraged people to go, but he did put it in people's mind that, hey, this is where it's at. And if you're in the neighborhood, just swing by and say hi. So yeah. He did tell people just to drop by someone's private property and just to say hello because he's a nice guy well now he set his sights on a caravan carolyn yet again or as he calls her camper carol the one we shall not speak of well here he is speaking of her yeah i saw a boondocker at camper carol's walmart yesterday Oh, that's right. John is living just a couple blocks away from Camper Carol, so he can kind of keep a, keep an eye on her. Now, he will not go inside the gated community. No way. But, you know, see if she's over at the Walmart. You know, say hi to her. Just say hi. Hey, Camo Dave says hi. Camper Carol lives in a gated mobile home community. Yeah, put a, put a camo sticker on the, the keypad. That would be funny. Oh dear! Let's see, we got we get some interesting emails here. <laughs> or a fuzz face sticker by the carts at Walmart. You should do that. You should do that. She would like it. She would she would love that. We give her a warm feeling in her heart. You know, she and the Doxinator are good buddies. Uh, Camper Carol and the Doxinator are really good friends now. Yeah, I was looking, I don't see any PayPal's coming through. So there you go. You can't deny it now. It's right there from his own mouth. He is encouraging this John guy to, oh yeah, not go in her gated community, but hey, go hang out at Walmart and see if you can see her. Go follow her around and go to where she lives and put Camo Dave stickers on so she knows that we're close by. What kind of creepy shit is that? Now you also heard him say that uh, Caravan Carolyn and the Doxinator are good friends. And yes, I am good friends with Carolyn as well, and she is friends with the Doxinator. I just hope it's true friendship because I know uh, how the Doxinator can be. He is uh, Dave's henchman after all. And I don't know, this fraternizing with the enemy kind of thing, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It, I kind of wonder, let me know in the comments below, please do. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about the Doxinator, who is the right hand of Dave, his henchman, the one who sends him clips of videos and tells him what to watch and who to watch and suggests new channels and everything, and is his moderator and, you know, makes his little jabs at everybody, being friends with Carolyn and, uh, you know, having Dave, the one we now shall not speak of, and Camper Carol, and talking so nasty about her... But yet, you know, I don't know. Hopefully, uh, good old Doxinator can keep it civil and in the middle and doesn't run back to Camo Dave and tell him every little thing that he hears from Carolyn. Now, as we just mentioned, he refers to Caravan Carolyn as Camper Carol. Well, he stole that from, you know, who's a vlogger puppets. But just, just call her Carolyn or Caravan Carolyn or why do you got to make up names? Just like Eric Nomadic Fanatic, you got to call him Derek. Come on, man. Get over it. If you're going to talk about someone, Mr. News Channel, Mr. Upright Critic, and blah, 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 well, just 
Say Derek. Get over yourself. You don't have to refer to him as Derek. And I don't know. And then in this little comment section, they're saying, Hey, you should go to Lollapalooza and interview Eric Nomadic Fanatic. That would be funny. <laughs> yeah, well, as far as the Lollapalooza thing goes, I doubt you're going to show up, but you may have Papa Texas fooled, but you don't have everybody fooled. Trust me. <laughs> now, on the Lollapalooza front, if you're trying to squeeze your way in there, Desperate Dave, if you're trying to get in there and, and schmooze the people at Lollapalooza and make it sound like you're going to show up and they're going to have a big celebration on Saturday Eve, how can you do all your videos and your live streams if you're there? I don't know. It's going to be a little bit tough, but maybe you can pull it off. I don't think you're going anyway. But if you're trying to schmooze and be on good terms with everybody, how about doing a little bit of research? For instance, let me correct you on some of the things you got wrong just today. That's right. Lola. You act like, oh, I watch Lola all the time. She's a good channel. But no, you don't. First of all, that was not her friend, Tubin. That was just her daughter. Her daughter happens to be a whitewater rafter. That's right. She gives little tours and everything. She is a very adventurous person. She skis, she whitewater rafts, she rock climbs, she does all kinds of shit, mountain climbs. She does all kinds of stuff. Very cool, interesting young lady. So that is just her daughter. And that's Low Head Dam. That's right. If you go to Low Head Dam, it causes what it's called is a hydraulic. And it can suck you down to the bottom and hold you there for however long it feels like until it spits you out. And yes, there is a spillway on the side, which you probably could have went down. But she went, and when she got close to the low head dam, but you said, it's not a dam. Yeah, it is a dam. But she got out and she looked because, again, her experience as a whitewater rafter, she said, hmm, not a good idea. She walked around it and put back in at the bottom of the spillway, which pushed her out, and she went along her merry way and had a good time. So... If you're trying to get on the good graces of people and you're trying to schmooze in and make it sound like you're Mr. Wonderful and you know everything and you're a loyal old fan and you like the channel, just take five minutes and do some research and watch the damn video, you goofball. Now the friendly love by all Dave. Now, you know, he, he touts that, you know, hey, everything's hunky-dory. Everybody loves him. Well, uh, Butterfly Gypsy just did a video today, an update. She hasn't posted in a while, so she posted a little update, let us know that she was getting ready to do some upgrades, uh, some solar. She said she's getting some battle bone batteries, solar panels, charge controllers, and the whole nine. Um, she is in Colorado in the Denver area. But if you look down in her comments, this pops up. So yeah, everybody knows that you know, when it comes to reporting the news or being a critic or reviewing the nomads or reporting on the weather, <laughs> we don't always get it right now, do we? But anyway, he's nice, he's friendly, he's kind, but there's a whole string of people that would say otherwise. But hey, all I got to say is, is if you're going to get on and do your little drunken rants, there's no problem with having a few drinks, but kind of watch what you say and remember what you say because you're going to stick your foot in it. It's not a good look. Now, as far as the little keyboard cowards in the side chat during your live stream, I would like to take a moment to address them. First of all, anybody and just about everybody knows that I am not totally blind. Never claim to be totally blind. And if you think I'm fake and being blind, well, sorry to disappoint and if i am faking it i'm really damn good at it because ophthalmologists optometrists medical doctors and all kinds of other medical professionals i fooled them i tricked them and hey being blind running around faking being blind is just such an easy task you know wouldn't you fake something easy like oh my neck hurts my back hurts if i just wanted to fake something so i didn't have to work don't be stupid i mean come on showing everybody on the internet what of a moron you are that's kind of dumb how can a blind guy read well how can a guy with dyslexia read every day his little letters 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 Ooh, you ever think of that no you didn't because we all know 
that, hey, how can you type when we know you rode the short bus and you went to class in that special trailer out back behind the school? Yeah, where you all held hands and went to lunch together. We know you're special, but how do you type so good? Hmm. And as far as wanting your sympathy, first of all, nobody with any type of disability wants your sympathy. Well, I'm sure there are some people out there that want sympathy, but most people with any kind of disability do not want sympathy. They want to do things for themselves. And I will tell you this, I don't need your sympathy. The last thing I want is your sympathy. You deserve mine because me that can barely see, I can do anything you can do and probably 10 times better. Well, except maybe drive. So if Desperate Dave or his camo dum-dums, none of you guys will like me talking about what Dave does on his channel. Well, I'll tell you what Dave always says to everybody else. If you don't want people to talk about it, don't put it on YouTube. This is Blind Views and that's how I see it. Fuck Camo Dave. Oh, peace out. What we do here is go back, 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 back.